I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. Welcome back to the channel, Maniacs. Today's joke brought to us by the one and only Pokédev. Thanks so much for throwing that down there. I uh, actually really like that joke. That was pretty funny. Very creative. Good to work with that one. Today, we're getting into some PokemonCenter.com figures. They released some Halloween ones. Unfortunately, I only was able to get two of them. There was four. But still, I really like these things. So, these are the boxes. Pretty cool. Um, one's bigger than the other, but they're the same. Uh, they're the same print. So, you've got cool little like Gengar, uh, Mistrevis, Mimikyu. We've got all sorts of ghost Pokemon on there. Uh, really rad. So, let's jump down here and take a closer look at the figures. Now, just to confirm, these do come packed very well. Pokemon actually takes uh, the packing of these figures very seriously, and I appreciate that. So, they do come sandwiched in some styrofoam. So, let's cut them out of there. Now, it is funny that I mentioned that it is, uh, they were encased like that. Uh, so, this Kafagrigus arm actually broke off uh, in shipping. So, it was, let's see, supposed to attach right there. So, that is unfortunate. So, maybe we'll see if we can fix it. I'll maybe I'll be contacting them to see what we can do. But, really unfortunate. Now, these figures, they kind of remind me of, like, uh, I don't know, Growing up for me, there was always those like snow or Christmas village type things you put up like on the mantle of your fireplace. So these kind of remind me of, except they're all Halloween themed. So we've got caution right here. You gotta look out for those haunters. We've got uh, Score Bunny, Pikachu out there trying to find something. They've got, oh, they're trick or treating, I think is what they're doing. Cause he's dressed up like a Pumpkaboo and he's dressed up like a Duskull or a Dusclops, sorry. Uh, but we've got these cool Arcanine kind of guarding the crypt. Down there you can kind of see the door. We've got Cofagrigus there. And off to the side we also have our Trevenant. Love the little details in this. Just from the side we've got our Cubone over here. Just kind of sniff smelling the flowers. Really cool detail. I love like, being able to see the Pokemon from all different angles. And pretty, like, pretty decent texture, too, to the ground. Here's the back side of the Trevenant. Really cool. So, unfortunate that we had that arm break off, but I don't think it should be too big of a deal to either fix it um, or hit up their customer service. But maybe I'll let you guys know how customer service goes. I've never actually, uh, never actually used them before, so we'll see. <laughs> Next up, we have Mimikyu's Costume Shop. So here, this is, uh, there's a little bit of texture to it, but it looks like it just kind of like painted on. We've got uh, Meryl up there checking out some clothes. And then we've got a Yamper back there, and then some like, Pikachu Cubones back there. We've got our Score Bunny. I don't know if those are all costumes or if they're uh, like looking for costumes, but there's Mimikyu scoping it out. <laughs> we've got our uh, Grookey there dressed up like a Ludicolo. Pichu over here is like a Togepi. Let's see what's in the side. We got a Barmy peeking out the window. We've got some other stuff. Got this uh, Bulbasaur, and then we've got some Mimikyu stuff. Really interesting. Uh, and then we've got Bayonet kind of creeping around the corner, just stalking everybody. Backside here, we've got our trash can. There's a little uh, Pikachu like jack o' lantern looking thing. Uh, and then some more like costumes with Snivy in the window. I'm not sure if that's a real Yamask up top or if it's just like supposed to be a statue of a Yamask. I think it's supposed to be a statue. But on this side, other side window, we've got uh, Chespin peeking through. And it's just kind of like, I wish I got some styrofoam on there. Uh, really nice. These, these both have like a pretty decent weight to them too. So they're probably, I don't know, I want to say like a pound and a half. I haven't actually weighed them, but it's going off of my hands. So there's the bottoms. We've got the little felt pads so you can slide them around without having to scratch anything. 
top side. Really nice figures. Paint right here looks a little bit shoddy, so that's also a little bit unfortunate, but you don't really notice it. Like, I mean, most of the time you're gonna be viewing it from this angle, so not too big of a deal, in my opinion. But really cool, so let's get that one. There were two other ones that I wanted to get. There's the bottom of this one too, just in case you're interested. Um, but really, um, there's really just one other one I wanted to get. It was the with Gengar, and it had like Chandelure, like Lampant, all of them. So unfortunate for that one, but there was another one. It's fine. That one I, I wasn't too heartbroken over, but definitely wanted that Gengar and the Chandelure one. But these figures, really cool. They're all unfortunately sold out, but wanted to take a little bit closer look at the figures, uh, give you guys kind of that close up look. And uh, I guess I'll have to let you guys know how the customer service goes on that. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoy Pokemon collecting, we've got figures, we've got cards. Uh, we're gonna be getting into some like Pokemon facts. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow us along on this journey. And I will see you guys very soon on the next one.